Okay, so we have a very old new tone intercom system in our house, and I wanted to update it, but they didn't have uh, a kit that I liked that was uh, smart enough. And so I'm gonna use an Echo Dot, and I'm gonna mount it into this housing, and then uh, replace this back on the wall. So that way I have a smarter system and we could do drop into each of the rooms if we needed to for intercom or we could play music. Uh, we could also do all the other things that uh, Amazon Dot allows us to do. So the first thing we're gonna do is take off the old unit from the wall. So one thing you want to do before you start taking it apart is uh, go to your breaker box and turn off your your breaker um, that runs the power to the unit. Um, our breaker is already off just because I've already replaced a few other ones. And so I don't have to worry about turning it off, but make sure you do. So this unit comes out. It has the low voltage cables here. And I'm just going to feed this back into the wall. Just let it hang there. There's actually a plug in the attic um, that all of these wires uh, go to a like a transformer box, and I unplugged that from the wall, unwired it. So that way I was able to turn the breaker back on. And here's the unit when it's off the wall. And what the I'm gonna use the, the existing speaker housing to hold the echo dot. And I'm gonna cut open um, all of the uh, existing speaker. I'm gonna take the magnet off because I don't know if that's gonna affect the, um, the dot or not, but I would suggest you take off the, the magnet. Um, these buttons can stay in place if you wanna maintain the original look, but uh, we wanted to go with something cleaner. So um, we uh, have these, uh, they're made out of balsa wood, um, little square units that we're gonna put over once we remove the buttons. So we're going to go ahead and continue to take this apart. So first we're going to remove the two speaker wires. Then we're going to remove the screws here. So there's the, the existing volume button doesn't allow the, the control board to come out. So you have to remove the button. In this case, I'm just gonna pry and it comes out. And then you can see here's the knob here. Then we're gonna go ahead and remove the screws that hold the speaker in place. I found online some other people that make um, a backing plate that'll hold a, a dot in the wall, fill the void. Um, but I was just trying to do this as cheap as possible. So we already have a, a housing that we could use, which is the old intercom. So here's the speaker off. We're gonna go to the garage and we're gonna go ahead and get this thing ready for uh, to hold the dot. Uh, you're gonna completely destroy the speaker. So if you wanna save it, don't do this. It won't be usable again after I'm done. So I'm just gonna cut them with a pair of scissors. Then I'm gonna pull this, this cone off. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take uh, care and I'm gonna go ahead and cut all the way around this. I wanna save this piece because I wanna use it on the backside because it'll help insulate um, and pro help project the speaker out of the grill instead of into the wall. So we're gonna go ahead and Start here and work our way around.
there's that piece of the old speaker. We're gonna reuse it on the backside once we get this magnet off. Um, next step is going to be um, to go ahead and uh, get the magnet off. And what what you could do is you you could take the rest of this fabric off. And if you wanted to, you could uh, drill out these four little spots here and take the magnet off. Um, I've had luck just uh, taking a chisel and knocking the magnet off. So I'm gonna go ahead and step on it, put my chisel under the magnet. Hit it a couple times. You can see it's starting to pop off. Okay. So as you can see, we have the old speaker frame. I'm gonna discard that and we'll go ahead and open up our our new dot here. So here's the new dot. It's gonna sit inside here like this. The speaker of the dot projects around the outside. So, um, sorry, it goes that way. As you can see, it fits right in there. However, if I were to put this against the grill, the speaker would still be loose. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, use the hammer and the chisel to push in the speaker frame to bring this dot out more so it pushes firmly against the, the grill. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. And I just do this just to get it started. And you can see as we start the crease, it'll start to go. This will start working its way down. So I just use the chisel to get it started. You need to take the sledgehammer and start working your way around. So what you're doing is you're you're pushing this piece inward is what you're doing. better not to go too much and to test fit it because you don't want it to be too tight. So you can see there, if I hold it against the, the cardboard, it's still loose. So I, I'm going to need to go a little bit more. We're also going to remove these two screws that way they don't damage the speaker as it sits inside there probably won't even get close but i'm going to go ahead and remove this so we're going to go ahead and remove these two screws there's really no need for it but i'm going to do it that fell out. <clears throat> So now this is just gonna, what's gonna hold the dot is just a pressure fit uh, between the speaker frame and the grill. Uh, one thing you have to be careful of is you wanna line the, uh, the power port up with one of the holes in the speaker frame. If you put it together wrong, you won't be able to plug it in. So we're gonna go ahead and drop this in here. Check the fit. If uh, push down, and the echo still loose you can by hand you can bend these or you can go take your little hammer a ball peen hammer and go and adjust them in so i'm going to go ahead and make sure that the the power port is in one of the openings we're going to go ahead and set this down in place let me turn it a little bit more and we're going to go ahead and replace the screws tighten it down Okay, we've got our last screw going in now. And you can see that the, 
dot is inside. Here's the unit. And it's going to go back in and the dot will be mounted in there. Now, the power cord, since it's not up to code to put an electrical box inside the wall and run the wires in the wall, I would suggest using one of the, the holes. Plug it in. Plug this into the wall. Um, in our case, I'm going to go ahead and mount it in the wall so that the wires are hidden. So that's going to go in like this. We're going to go ahead and plug that in. And that's nice and snug. Then I'll have a plug in the wall. I'm going to go as far back as I can. I'm going to feed from an electrical plug down there, bring a wire up, and then go ahead and plug it in here. And it'll be easily accessible to remove four screws. Um, I've had good luck of just um, being able to set up the dot once it was plugged in and installed. Um, if you have to get to the buttons on the dot, you'll have to remove the screws. Um, one other thing I want to do is I'm going to take the old cone, the, the speaker fabric, I don't even know what it's called, and I'm going to go ahead and put it over here. And that'll help if there's any airflow in the, in the wall cavity from keeping it from coming out the grill. It'll also help project any of the sound out the front of the grill instead of into the wall. We also have this little piece that can go over that hole. Um, and then what we're gonna do is put this in like that. Then we're gonna take our Super Duty tape and we will slowly start just taping it up. Be careful not to cover up those screws because you might need to get to them again. Okay, you can see it doesn't have to look pretty. You just want to keep those screws accessible. I also like to put some tape around the cord there to help hold the cord in place. And then as you can see, this would get plugged in. Cord would go back. And this grill would go back in place. Like that. And then in our case, um, when we mount it back, we're going to mount this piece of balsa that I painted black right over the hole. Like that. And then we'll put the screws back in all the way around. If you want, you could paint it. Um, in our case, uh, the old housing is going to get painted white. Uh, the balsa wood is black, a matte black. And uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, create some little name uh, stickers so we know what each dot is named since we have multiple ones throughout the house. So here's a unit already in place, um, hasn't been painted yet, so we're not gonna mount the, the cover plate or the sticker, um, but as you can see, that's gonna go cover up all that unsightliness. Um, you can have a custom plate made online fairly cheap, but I just wanted to go low budget. I got this uh, at the local craft store really cheap, and then I painted it black and cut it to fit. So as you can see, there's a dot in there. Uh, this dot, um, wake word, is echo so you could say echo uh play music and uh it should kick on playing a personalized station my soundtrack from amazon so music. you can see there how it's uh gonna play the music um you could do anything else that um they let you do that so echo stop playing music echo stop playing music so sometimes it has a hard time picking up but i think it would I don't know if it has to do with the grill or not, but it, they seem to be working for us. Okay, so here you can see one that's uh, been painted. Uh, the wood plate has been put on, and all we need to do is add the sticker. And so um, there you go. That's the final look uh, that we're, we're going for. Um, kind of matches all the, the white wall plates and um, a more modern look for the house. So in our game room, we didn't have an intercom system. Um, so... I had this old hand-me-down radio uh, that I got from my grandfather. It didn't work, uh, but we had it in here on display, and I thought, heck, I could do the same thing with this, and, and I was able to do it. I got the, the dot mounted just the same, and it's inside that housing. Um, I can't get it out, but um, I just ran it through the old power cord hole and plugged it in, and so um, this one's hooked up to the rest of the, the dots. Um, it'll play when we ask um, all dots to play. The whole house, um, every dot will play in the house. Um, so, um, Alexa, are you there? I'm here. 
I listen once I hear the wake word. And uh, the sound quality is decent enough and it's, it's kind of a cool system. We didn't have to throw the, the old radio away. So as you can see, um, if you're trying to, if you're on a budget and you're trying to get rid of this old look um, of this old intercom system and uh, don't want to break the bank um, upgrading it, um, we just showed you a, a cheap and easy way. Um, the dots, they run about $40. You can find them now. Um, you could probably get them cheaper if you buy two or three and, and package them together. And as you see, here you go. I hope you liked the video.